It's been seven years since Link fell asleep in the sealed chamber of the door of time. It's been seven days since I played Smash Bros for 3DS. And it's been seven parts since I started this Let's Play. Hello everybody, I am PikachuFan16, and yes, I did try to come up with something really cheesy like that intro. Something to do with the number seven, because I couldn't think of anything else. But yeah, I think <laughs> it's been at least seven days since I've played Smash Bros. I might have played it here and there, but... Alright, more trainers. Just, just lots of them. Lots of the trainers! <gasps> Was a burp. This guy's got three Pokemon. I could have cleared this right off screen, but I didn't want to because if Bubbles were involved, I wanted to show it. Which he might have evolved to this battle, actually, when you think of it. So anyway, how are you guys today? Hmm. I just realized something. I haven't been doing questions of the day, or episode, or whatever people call them nowadays. I started to do them in my Let's Replay Spyro 3, and just never did them again. Because I haven't recorded a Let's Play video since that. Well, I did a few random stadium things, but... Got freaking lucky in that battle, but <clears throat> oh, like I said, this is why I wanted to do this on screen because I wasn't I wouldn't have gotten very far with the whole what, what how long until level sixteen thing anyway. I am going to pick up my second team member in the freaking Mount Moon. Whether it wants to show up or not, I'm going to run around off screen if I have to until I find it. Also, we're coming up to Cerulean City, which means I can do the Mew glitches. Yes, I say glitches because there are a total of three in the game. But because two of them require fighting the exact same trainer, and there's no verse record in or rematch features in this game, I can only do one of the two that require that trainer. But but one of them requires a different trainer. So you just saw that our Bulbasaur evolved in the Ivysaur. Yeah, we're pretty much going to pick up our second and third team members back to back. I didn't necessarily want to use this second Pokemon, but you know what? I consider it a fairy type in Gen 6. It's a fairy type in Gen 6. So let's go by that standard and just say it's a fairy type in this game. We know it's not, and it's weak to biting. Ugh, darn it, bag. Hopefully, um, it doesn't take me too long to find it. That thing looks terrifying. Boo! Ekans just looks... Ugh. What the heck was they thinking when they made this green sprite? Ivy Source level 17. All right. Um, after I fight this one, I'm actually going to go ahead and fight that one down there. Alright, so. Uh. 
These are probably really boring videos because this is a slow game. Ugh. And this is on an actual cartridge too. Um, there haven't been many more Pokemon to me for me to discuss. I guess I could discuss Ekans, but you can't really catch it in this game. But I'll discuss it anyway. Ekans is a poison type Pokemon. It evolves in Arbok about level 22. It learns really good poison type moves. Way better mo more in like Gens 5 and 6 because there's a lot more variety to the moves. But yeah. It learns a lot of better moves in Gen 6, but like I said, it's Gen 1, so if we were playing red, we would have to make the best of it. I haven't decided if I want to use both Mew, or Mew on my team. I don't think I will. I might just pick them up. Like, but they're really, really hard to catch, but... Once I get to my second Pokemon... Okay, I wanted to go this way anyway. Uh, catching them won't be that hard, because I can put them, put them to sleep. And plus, I'll have a third Pokemon to back them up, too. But... Let me explain how to get Mew. Okay. Or, the original glitch that I found was... There's an old guy outside of the... Underground tunnel that takes you from... The route west from Lavender Town... To Celadon City. But if you go out the... Like if you like... Come out of there... Walk down... Pause at the right time... To where you're right... At the spot where he'll normally see you. Uh... You can fly away to Cerulean... Fight the Slowpoke Kid, as people call him. Let him walk up to you. And then fly back to Lavender Town. And then head back out west. The other two... One requires fighting the Slowpoke Kid, the other does not. The other requires... You to fly... You to teleport from this guy... Both times. One fighting the Slowpoke Kid... And then one, then after one of them, you fight the Nail Swimmer Misty Gym. One is further on. <laughs> you know, if I had like a, a streaming capture card, I could stream. <coughs> This and my other, my other Japanese game. Um, <sighs> something you might actually notice is how quickly we're getting levels. That's going to change once we get later on in the game, obviously, because they're not going to give us that much experience, and they're not going to have the same old 50 experience level up, otherwise the game would be too easy. But they are giving us decent for the game at the moment. Um, and as I said, I only have Ivysaur now. At the moment, so I'm waiting for him to get at least a status move, like sleep powder or something random. But 